News. Toronto's downtown core will be the site of more than a dozen large-scale protests and demonstrations this weekend. That's according to police officials. The city's top doctor says officers will be keeping a close eye on all of the gatherings. While the Toronto Police Service will always support peaceful demonstration, I want to be very clear that we will not tolerate any intimidation, harassment, or hate-motivated behaviour aimed at specific communities. Toronto Police Chief James Raymer says one rally police will be monitoring is the El Quds demonstration scheduled for Saturday afternoon. The El Quds event is a pro-Palestinian rally held each year at the end of Ramadan and has been the scene of confrontation in the past. Benai Brith Canada has called on the Ontario government to prevent provincial property from being used for the event. The charter allows freedom of expression and uh, an ability to demonstrate and, and so we will facilitate those events. However, you know, we are monitoring this and freedom exp of expression, to your point, has a limit. And we'd like to, we have so many different communities and uh, so many different lived experiences. And we would like to see all of our communities have some empathy and understanding for what other people have experienced and, and act in an appropriate manner. While the city of Ottawa and its police department braces this weekend for a biker rally dubbed Rolling Thunder, there is some concern that it could turn into another protest similar to the so-called freedom rally involving truckers. Raymer doesn't believe that particular rally will spread to Toronto. All the police partners through the province uh, are in communication, our intelligence partners as well on, on the events that are happening throughout the province and indeed throughout the country. And we have no indication of anything here in Toronto, uh, but that is uh, always being monitored. This is really an, an announcement that speaks to the months ahead. It's not just this weekend. This, I think this weekend is just indicative of many of the weekends that we're going to see over the, over the next number of months. The chief says even though police will not be restricting vehicles from accessing any areas this weekend, residents should be prepared for some rolling street closures as officers work to minimize disruptions.